Hi everyone, welcome to my home. This year, as every year, we decorate before Thanksgiving. If you saw my video last year, you know that it's usually mid-November. This year, uh, we just completed it and it's the week of or before Thanksgiving. We love the holidays, we do a lot of entertaining, and so we start early. Uh, I like stress-free holidays, and for me, the uh, decor stays up for two months, and it's a wonderful time, and the house is full of festive colors and decorations. You'll see every room, and each room has its own theme. We love uh, the holidays, and this is probably the only time that it becomes kind of quirky, decorate uh, free will, because it's personal. It's Some people might think it's tacky or overdone, but it fills my house with lots of memories, and all these pieces that I have in my home are collected for 28 years. So this is a personal time of the year. Uh, it shows you the traditions. The Anna Lee dolls that you see over here, my mother-in-law, who's no longer with us, loved Anna Lee dolls, so I collect them in honor of her. So my holiday de decor is based on personal uh, memories. So I hope that when you're decorating, you think of doing the same. Collect, start collecting if you're young, uh, and every year build on it. This year, I always add a new Anna Lee uh, doll, and I remember my mother-in-law. So let's go and look at the rest of the house. This is my dining room and it's getting ready for Thanksgiving. The tables are all set and we're ready to receive 24 people on Thursday. This is the uh, coral, the reds, and the uh, bronze, copper uh, color that I use in this room. This year I found some great candles at Home Goods that I thought these are beautiful and I love the different heights. And one little hint uh, when you're doing a runner, you don't necessarily need a placemat. So what I do is I set the table with the runner and then I reverse the, instead of being uh, vertical, I do a horizontal layout of my placemats and tuck them underneath the runner so that it looks like I've got runners going crisscross. But this is the dining room. Uh, again, it is a collected Santa from 28 years ago. I did the decoupage on the box probably 10 years ago and it's homemade items that I've created, keepsakes that I've collected and again my uh, swag in the back is just layers and layers of floral picks. But we will move on now to my kitchen area and then the family room and we'll see you in a minute. <music> This is 
my kitchen table. This year I decided to do a little rustic theme where a lot of greens, I've got a lot of wooden uh, ornaments that I just take the tops off and just keep them out as little uh, tchotchkes all over my kitchen table. These large guys come from my front yard. I have a wonderful, wonderful evergreen that gives birth every year. And I, it's like chickens. They drop these beautiful pine cones and I go around with baskets and collect them. So I use them for place cards. I'll put uh, place cards in each uh, pine cone at Thanksgiving and everybody will know where they're sitting, which is kind of stupid. Uh, it's not that hard. But anyway, this is my kitchen table. It is uh, a French country table and it's just just warms up the space even though this is a modern kitchen and you'll see the rest of the kitchen. I have a modern kitchen but I throw in uh, a lot of different design tastes. Uh, this is an estate piece and it works. So let's move on to the kitchen table. like I do. Sometimes an open kitchen is great because you can see into the family room and elsewhere, but if you're doing dishes during a holiday event where you're entertaining, the last thing you want is people watching you do the dishes. So I always camouflage. So I build a little wall of flowers in front and it works for me because I don't want people looking at dirty dishes when we're entertaining and this kind of keeps a barrier. So it's another great design tip that if you happen to have an open kitchen, build a barrier of the prettiest flowers you can find. And in my case, I love orchids and my Christmas cactuses bloom at Thanksgiving. So they look fabulous. So I have a wall of poinsettias, orchids, and Christmas cactuses in my kitchen. And